rating plus one six zero plus x SCP-1552 in containment. Image taken via SCP-1552-1. Item hash. SCP-1552. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1552's enclosure has been designed to minimize reflectivity. The room's observation deck is off-limits. Personnel entering SCP-1552's enclosure should be fully briefed and no more than one person should be present inside the enclosure concurrently. A calibrated gloss meter is to be kept on hand. No object with surfaces over 95 gloss units should be brought into the enclosure. Instances of SCP-1552-1 are to be kept in storage with level 2 access. SCP-1552 requires water and food appropriate for its breed. Water is to be served only in the provided dispenser, which is operated by remote control and should be opened only after personnel have left the room. Toys should be provided for SCP-1552 on a regular basis. Personnel should carefully examine toys before provision to ensure they have no reflective surfaces. Feeding and cleaning duties should be undertaken by D-Class personnel wherever possible. SCP-1552-1 is to be inventoried periodically and checked for damage to the paint covering. It may not be removed from the facility without Level 4 clearance and is to be considered a major security risk. Description SCP-1552 is a male English bulldog in good health which responds to the name, Tarquin. As far as researchers can ascertain it is approximately 3 to 5 years old. At time of containment Tarquin was not microchipped. Tissue samples have revealed no genetic variation outside that expected for its breed. At time of writing SCP-1552-1 consists of approximately 257. 257. Separate items. Comprising 13 hand mirrors. 4 bathroom mirrors. 3 car and motorcycle mirrors. 2 pieces of chromed motorcycle chassis. 6 pieces of car chassis. A dog collar with a vacuum metalized plastic name tag bearing the name Tarquin. 1. 675 milliliters of water. Currently stored in a sealed plastic container. 52 miscellaneous office fixtures. And 175 separate glass fragments of varying size. At time of writing 250 items have been covered with matte black paint. Each instance of SCP-1552-1 displays a live close-up of SCP-1552's face. Regardless of where it is located relative to SCP-1552, this reflection is as far as can be established permanent, even if an instance of SCP-1552-1 is forcibly fragmented. Its fragments will each continue to reflect a close-up of the dog. That each instance of SCP-1552-1 currently displays a live feed of an active SCP Foundation facility, albeit one partially obscured by SCP-1552, has not been overlooked. Attempts to find a means of safely neutralizing instances of SCP-1552-1 of our ongoing any reflective surface with a gloss index of 95 or higher is subject to transformation into SCP-1552-1 under the following conditions. SCP-1552 must be reflected in the surface. An independent observer must observe the surface with the intent of viewing the reflection of SCP-1552. Following this, the entire reflective surface becomes an instance of SCP-1552-1. The observer effect that creates SCP-1552-1 only applies if the surface is viewed directly. Any mechanical remove, such as CCTV, live or not, nullifies the effect. There is no detectable molecular change to the material after turning into SCP-1552-1. The spectroscopic analysis reveals that it absorbs light as though it were a perfect black body. 
as SCP-1552-1 shows no anomalous thermodynamic qualities. It can be concluded that this light is re-emitted as the footage of SCP-1552. The footage of SCP-1552 in SCP-1552-1 is capable of creating instances of SCP-1552-1 if its reflection is observed in another object. If an observer views an uncontaminated reflective surface with the intent of seeing the reflection of SCP-1552-1, the surface will also become SCP-1552-1. SCP-1552 does not seem to be able to control the footage reflected in SCP-1552-1, and has been rendered unconscious without compromising its effect. However, while SCP-1552 is unconscious, as opposed to merely sleeping, some observers have reported the vertigo-like feeling emanating from the reflection. Mechanical recordings during this time show no measurable change, indicating more research is needed into possible psychic manifestations of this phenomena. That SCP-1552-1 shows more active tendencies when SCP-1552 is unconscious seems to militate against euthanization of the animal. It may be possible to utilize SCP-1552 as an emergency warning system should Sector 25 experience a major incident that renders communication with other facilities otherwise impossible. As far as can be ascertained the transmission of footage to SCP-1552-1 is unblockable and has no range limit. Although it appears impossible to impose a surface between SCP-1552-1 S camera and SCP-1552's face, SCP-1552's head does not normally fill the whole image broadcast to SCP-1552-1 and textual information could be readily broadcast from behind the animal. Contingency plans have been drafted to dispatch samples of SCP-1552-1 to other Foundation facilities. These would need to be monitored via CCTV. Recovery Log 1552 SCP-1552's properties were brought to the Foundation's attention when it was involved in a major traffic accident in SCP-1552 was apparently being walked by its previous owner an unidentified male who was killed in the crash. A driver passed SCP-1552 then looked in his wing mirror to get a better view of the animal. The wing mirror was predictably transformed into SCP-1552-1. The driver, startled by the appearance of SCP-1552's face, drove the car across the width of the road, clipping another car and causing two others to spin out of control and into a shop window, which at some point in the incident also became an instance of SCP-1552-1. The Foundation was contacted by local law enforcement when they noticed the fragments of the window continued to display a reflection of SCP-1552 even after it was removed from the scene by Animal Services, at time of writing all but zero. 049M2 of the shop window has been successfully recovered. 5 grams of finely ground glass was also recovered after an operative was dispatched to vacuum the street and remove sediment from storm drains at the crash site. This has since been fused into a single specimen of SCP-1552-1 for ease of containment. A small budget has been allocated to tracing other items that may have been converted into SCP-1552-1 before containment. Addendum 1552-201 It has been established that liquids with adequate surface reflectivity are not exempt from conversion into SCP-1552-1. Accordingly, the possibility of contaminated liquids entering the water cycle is a distinct risk. It will be necessary to determine whether water transformed into SCP-1552-1 is potable.
as the worst-case scenario involving SCP-1552-1 is full conversion of the world's oceans and subsequently freshwater supply, effectively immediately, SCP-1552 is reclassified as Euclid. Further experiments with SCP-1552 and liquids are forbidden. SCP-1552's water bowl is to be sealed and automatically opened only when personnel have left its room. Other liquids are forbidden in SCP-1552's room without the permission of sector management. Tests on D-class personnel have shown that SCP-1552-1 is non-toxic and shows no inherent contamination ability. Dilution results in the footage becoming fainter before disappearing completely at one part. SCP-1552-1-2 parts water. Note that no method currently exists of separating out contaminated and uncontaminated liquids. As with SCP-1552-1 solids covered in paint, diluted SCP-1552-1 is not considered neutralized. Incident Report 1552-1 As part of experiments into SCP-1552-1 S transmittability, two D-class personnel were admitted into SCP-1552's enclosure. One was instructed to observe SCP-1552 via the reflection in the other's eyes. As expected, the latter subject's eyes became instances of SCP-1552-1. Unexpectedly, the subject retained full vision, presumably linked to the black body properties of SCP-1552. Subject reacted poorly when informed of the effects of the experiment and attempted to abscond from the facility. Since the contaminated subject was able to view a reflection of SCP-1552 in any reflective surface they encountered, they were quickly able to spread SCP-1552-1 to the eyes of other D-class subjects and agent. In addition to numerous surfaces throughout the facility, lockdown was established almost immediately and full containment restored after 1.5 hours. After consultation with O5 the decision was made to remove Agent SIs. The surgeon was able to successfully complete the procedure via webcam mechanical remove and Agent will receive full compensation. The five contaminated D-class subjects have been terminated in line with Foundation Protocol as Extreme Security Risks, Professor. As a result of Incident 1552-1, Use of D-class personnel with SCP-1552 is suspended. Suitably briefed researchers and veterinary personnel will be allowed to enter SCP-1552's enclosure to engage in feeding and other duties. Addendum 1552-202 SCP-1552's classification has been downgraded to safe, owing to the persistent success of updated containment procedures.